That the unfair burden of domestic work falls on women in India is a fact that no one can deny. Unpaid domestic work includes tasks such as cooking, cleaning, childcare, etc. Due to the highly gendered society we live in that are dictated by patriarchal norms, women end up performing a chunk of care work. According to a recent report in 2019, on an average, women spend nearly 299 minutes a day on unpaid domestic work versus 97 minutes spent by men. The push to recognize women's as domestic labor as something worthy of reparation has been going on for decades now. In this feminist archive video, we take a look at the wages for housework movement. With the aims of reversing power relations, overcoming dependency and a fair redistribution of wealth, the Wages for Housework movement was started across the globe. The movement initially grew from a feminist collective in Italy in 1972. From there, it spread to other parts of the world with increasing emphasis on intersectionality. This meant that greater wages and recognition was demanded for women who carried the burden of housework as well as the marginalization owing to their social position. In 1975, women in Iceland went on strike from their basic domestic responsibilities and 1975 was declared as the International Women's Year by the United Nations. A number of autonomous organizations championing this cause were formed in 1975. Black Women for Wages for Housework, Wages Due Lesbians, the English Collective of Prostitutes and many more. The Wages for Housework campaign called for global women's strike on March 8, 2000, demanding among other things payment for all caring work in wages, pensions, land and other resources. Women from over 60 countries around the world participated in the protest. Since 2000, the GWS network has continued the call for a living wage for women and other caregivers, and they have led or joined campaigns focused on pay equity, violence against women and the rights of sex workers among other issues. The movement's impact can be assessed by the legislations and policies that come to be since then around healthcare, social security and reproductive rights. In India too, women take to the streets on 8th March, voicing their support to the movement. One of the repercussions of unpaid work is the lack of participation in paid work. Indian women's participation in paid employment is much lower than their male counterparts. Only 21.8% of women aged 15 to 59 are engaged in paid work in comparison to nearly 70.9% of the men. However, if we were to take into account both paid and unpaid work, women's participation reaches 85%. men's is just 73%. Recently, in a progressive step, the Supreme Court said that the value of a woman's work at home was no less than her office-going husband. In his remarks, Justice N.V. Ramana observed that despite all the work they do, the conception that housemakers do not work or that they do not add economic value to the household is a problematic idea that has persisted for many years and must be overcome. What are some ways in which you've had to shoulder the burden of unpaid domestic work? Let us know in the comments below.